Uh, what? Unreal. I know. Oh, hang on. So that you're not distracted. Wow. Extend. All right. So, like I said, we've gone over non-overlapping channels. The reason why in most areas non-overlapping channels are 1, 6, and 11 is because in the 2.4 gigahertz band, right, we have multiple megahertz frequencies. So these are all in gigahertz, right, 2.412, 2.417. That's a difference of 50 megahertz. You guys understand that 1,000 megahertz equals 1 hertz gigahertz. <laughs> no, yeah, 1 hertz is like a, a lot of those. <laughs> like a million hertz is 1 megahertz. It's like a right? system. Yeah. Yeah, it's like the gigahertz, gigabytes, megabytes, kilobytes, etc., etc. So we use in the general for Wi-Fi, two point four gigahertz, in which you have, I think it goes from two point four one two all the way to two point four <coughs> six two. So th those are the frequencies on which your home internet um, relies on. Also, cordless phones, microwaves. Um, yeah. They don't have this right, but they produce. Wow. Yeah. Uh, anything that's wireless, cordless phones, anything that's wireless in your home, almost always uses 2.4. <coughs> so, um, we now are using, we now have stuff with 5 gigahertz, which a lot of things in your house don't use. So that's cool. That'll give you faster internet. Uh, less inter not faster inter less interference, which by default will give you faster internet. Sebastian, I thought that was easier interference faster. <coughs> it doesn't go as far, but it's stronger. It's faster. Yeah, you said it's not less. It's it's not. So if you have something, okay, I misspoke. So you can have. It's all depending on standards. <clears throat> so eight hundred two eleven. B, 802.11A is 5 gigahertz, and that's 11 megabits per second. You have 802.11B, which is 2.4 gigahertz, that's 54. You have 802.11G, which is 2.4 gigahertz, um, 54 megabits per second. So it depends on the standard, but then you also have within those, like 802.11AC, which I think Edward came uh, talked about a couple weeks ago, can do 160 megabits per second. That's the maximum theoretical is, so that 54, that 11, that's the maximum that's possible as opposed to what's typical. So you can configure like a five gigahertz band to be way faster um, if you don't have any interference, but odds are you're gonna have interference. So when you have 2.4 and everything in your house is running 2.4, you're gonna have interference. With five, you tend to have, because not as many things are on five gigahertz, you don't have as much interference. However, because it's higher frequency, it can't go like through wall. It can't go through walls as well. But it's faster in in its area of expertise. It's faster than two point four, partially because you don't have as many things on it. And two five gigahertz, it can just transmit more energy per second. Because that's what I, I think. That's what I heard is it's like oscillations per second. So the the higher the hertz the more oscillations per second in the frequency, and therefore more information can be sent per minute, per second. Oscillations are more frequent. That's Hence, higher frequency. frequency. Good job. So, <laughs> so, typically in the middle of a city, you have 20 megahertz bands, right? 20 megahertz, not gigahertz. Um, 200, oh, that, yeah, no, that's 50 megahertz. Oh, man. I can't do my math. No, that's 5 megahertz. There we go. Sorry. So each one of these is 20 megahertz wide. So that's going to go 10 megahertz that way and 10 megahertz this way. So it stops right at 2.422, which means it interferes with 5, 4, 3, and 2. However, when you get to six, this stops at 2.422 and six goes 2.427. So that's why one and six don't overlap. Does that make sense? Any questions? 
Now, this is the one I messed up on because I went 20, I went, it's a four, this is a 40 megahertz band, which you can configure at home, which probably isn't the best thing to do because you're going to have a lot of, you're going to get interference on more channels. Unless you live in the middle of nowhere. Unless you live in the middle of nowhere, yes. Um, with that being said, the higher, the wider the channel width, the more information you can send through. It's like more lanes on a highway. However, the bigger your highway is, the more interference you're going to get from other little roads and other highways. Make sense? Good thing now you break it down. Say what? Good thing now you break it down. Eh. If I have 10 lanes and I want, you know, we're not going to get into it. <laughs> um, but for 40. I tried, guys. You're trying to, <laughs> trying to screw me up? No. No. I'm trying to get us off top. Hey, you're recording stuff. Oh. <laughs> anyway. He's got to check You guys. Do you guys have. Mr. Sultz, you're yes. a great teacher, and I appreciate everything you show us. Thank you, Sebastian. And I just hope everybody can, can see that. I, I thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> okay, thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, I'm totally, whatever. Um, this makes sense, right? Yeah. Channel width, the high, the wider the channel, the more, the faster it can be, but the more interference you're going to get. Um, with 2.4, difference between 20, 40 megahertz. Yes, any questions? Tommy? No. Christoph? Sam, Jared, no. Sebastian. All right, cool. Now I have to erase all my hard work. I would have had more on the board, but I got um, not distracted. But my IT job came in, and I had to fix a computer. So we'll move up. You just drop it and kick it. <laughs> I mean, it was that works Mac. every time. Dude. It was it Go was an old it. MacBook, so I wouldn't it wouldn't have been started. No, I actually had to run a a program to help Adobe work because Adobe's not that awesome. All right, so this I made on actually. All right, so this is basically how five gigahertz works. I don't know if I want to. I think I'm just going to get this on the internet because that's harder to draw. Oh, oh my goodness. <sighs> I'm old. All right, so I'll get this on the screen. Oops. 